Hey everyone, this is Jason with 82's Barbecue. Today we're going to go over how to trim a slab of pork spare ribs down to a St. Louis style cut. Okay everyone, when you're trimming your spare ribs, this is one of the simpler things to do. It doesn't take any fancy equipment, it doesn't take anything real expensive. What you need is a very nice, or cheap, small knife. It just has to have a very good blade on it. Sharpen it up each time before you use it and it'll cut fine for you. It'll do the job that you need it to do. Okay, first thing we're going to do, they're spare ribs, so we're going to fold them up. We're going to look for where the tips are. Tips is on this edge out here, right, by, right in here at the end of the ribs. You move it around, bend it up a little bit, and you'll feel where it's bending. Where it's bending is where you want to cut. All it does is just take a simple, simple slice. Just like that you've got your tips taken off. Put these off to the side for something later. Next thing you want to do is come along here and trim off this big old piece of fat and meat. What this is going to do is it's going to give you an uneven cook on that rib. You want all the ribs to be cooked at the same temp or at the same time, same speed. So anything extra that's major you want to remove. I like to kind of come in here and get this, get this fat right here off. Not that the fat's necessarily bad, however, it doesn't provide even cooking. Next thing I like to do is come down here to the end of my ribs and square them off. What that does is provide a nice rectangular slab of ribs. When you get done cooking these, these are all going to be the same size. You'll be able to place them in a box for competition without a lot of guessing on it. Okay guys, next part here, flip the ribs over, go to the back of them. This is the part that really makes a difference between good tender ribs, flavorful ribs, and bad ribs. On the back side here, what you have is you have a membrane. It's this little, I don't know if you can see it right there. On the back side, there's this little white film. You need to take that film off. Without it, it's gonna have this chewy part that doesn't cook out. No matter how good a rib cook you are, you're going to mess them up every time. Easiest way to do it, some people like to use a spoon method. I prefer to use just a simple paper towel, is all we use. Pull underneath here and pull this membrane right off. All you're going to do, just slide your finger underneath, work your finger underneath one of the rib or in, underneath the film, the membrane, by one of the ribs, grab a hold of it, and voila. Now you have no membrane. Now your ribs are going to be tender, they're going to cook good. Sometimes on some of these ribs, you're going to have a flap that's going to sit right here along this edge. You have a flap of meat. You're going to want to take that, slot, that flap off. And all it does is just take a simple cut with your knife, very lightly, just work it off, take that flap off. Again, it's extra meat there that's going to prevent your meat cooking evenly. Anything that does that, you don't want to have included on your ribs. All right, guys. Now that your ribs are trimmed, they're ready to be seasoned. You know, just take time, cover them evenly with your rib or the rub of your choice. Uh, put them on your grill and have fun cooking. You know, please feel free to visit our website, 82sbbq.com, for more tips and tricks and to pick up some of our great bottles of sauce. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.